guys. I'm Eric Peterson and I'm a men's dating and relationship coach for Skill of Attraction. And today's Attraction Tips video is called She Wants Me to Change for Her. Now, I was inspired to do a video on this topic after I came across a Facebook post from one of my female friends. The post came from a relationship page on Facebook and it read, a real man is going to change his ways for a girl he really wants to spend the rest of his life with. These types of posts are shared by thousands of women and maybe even some men throughout Facebook and they're saved on phones and reposted on other social networks. Then women share these ideas with their girlfriends and they share it with their girlfriends. And because it was originally posted by a relationship page, then it must be true, right? And this is how these ideas get spread around as fact. Now, there are thousands upon thousands of women out there who believe that any real man should bend over backwards to please her and comply with her wants and demands. This also reminds me of another post I came across a couple of weeks ago where the woman was complaining about her boyfriend who took her out to dinner and he ordered the fish. Well, she doesn't like fish. So she asked him to change what he ordered. Now, of course, he refused and told her that he's paying for the meal, so he's going to order what he wants. Now, this upset her even more, and it turned into an argument before he did the right thing by getting up and walking out of the restaurant, leaving her to pay the bill and Uber herself home. Now, a lot of women who were commenting felt that the guy was in the wrong and that he should have honored her request that he change his order and he certainly shouldn't have left her there and ultimately apologized to her. And of course, a majority, but not all, of the men felt the guy did the right thing. It turns out these two had only been together for two weeks. I mean, how she worded it, We've only been together for two weeks, and this is how he's disrespecting me already. Now, where my thoughts were, they've only been together two weeks, and she's already making crazy, unreasonable demands. Now, this is supposed to be the honeymoon period where both people are on their best behavior. I mean, can you imagine how she would be months from now or even years down the line? I mean, she would be a nightmare. However, I also believe this was a big shit test. She clearly liked the guy and was attracted to him, but like most women, especially in the very early stages, she's testing him to see what he's made of. The thing is, many men would have changed their order to please her because they didn't want to cause conflict in the relationship, especially this early on. In most men's minds, that would be the right thing to do. But is it? So in this Attraction Tips video, I'm going to be discussing changing your ways for your girl and whether or not you should, because she's certainly going to try to get you to change. I mean, I can't say all women will be so overt about getting you to change, but all will attempt this on some level. But if you guys need my personal help and you're interested in some private coaching, please head over to my website at soa.fm, click on the coaching tab, and there you'll see that I have several options for you to choose from. My coaching options include several phone coaching packages for my North American clients and several Zoom coaching packages for my clients outside North America. And I'll post the links to both my contact page and my coaching page in the description down below. Also, if you haven't gone to check out the new Skill of Attraction yet, I encourage you to do so. Activity has been picking up over there, and, and what I mean by that is more and more people are posting their questions, sharing their knowledge, answering questions, and whatnot. And that's exactly what it's for. It's a community for men to get advice, share advice, compare notes, and share their war stories of their experiences with women. And of course, you ladies are welcome there too, if you like. Uh, registration is free and you can remain relatively anonymous. So just head over to soa.fm, sign up for, for an account and voila, you're all set. You can start posting. So I hope to see you guys over there. Oh, and guys, please take note of my pinned comment on my videos. I'm a little shocked how often some of you miss it. 
So anyway, <clears throat> changing your ways for your girl, is this a good idea? Well, on the surface, I would say no, it's not a good idea. However, if your girl is on your case about making some changes, she may be on to something which I'll explain shortly. Now, when you get involved with a girl, of course, she doesn't know much about you. She thinks you're cute and maybe a little funny. And that's really all she knows about you so far. And that's the point of dating, to have some fun while getting to know each other. This doesn't mean that she's now your girlfriend because she went out on a few dates with you. However, if you make it past, let's say two or three dates, then there's a good chance that it's heading in that direction. But women take longer to fall for a guy than a guy falls for a woman, despite the fact that society presents it the other way around. But the more that she realizes she likes you, the more she's going to test you. At this point, she's mostly testing you for confidence and to make sure that you're not a crazy person before she begins opening her heart to you. A lot of men take great offense to women testing them. However, you should all know that in most of the, with most of these tests, they're all completely subconscious. In other words, women don't really realize that they're doing it. It's simply a part of their instinct. They want to make sure that they're safe with you and they want to make sure that you're really the cool guy you've presented yourself to be. There's absolutely nothing to be offended about. In fact, you should take it as a compliment because they wouldn't be testing you if they didn't like you. It's a sign that she's feeling attraction for you and she wants to be sure of some things before she opens her heart and opens her legs. However, these tests are gonna come in a variety of ways. I mean, there's shit tests, compliance tests, jealousy tests, fitness tests, which is really just testing your internal strength or your fitness. I mean, there's a bunch of them. Of course, the more tests that you pass, the more her attraction is growing. And I put pass in quotes because when you hear passing her test, it gives you the idea that there won't be more tests. Oh, but there will be. <laughs> You'll be tested throughout the entirety of the relationship in one way or another, but we'll save that for another video. The types of tests we're most concerned about with this particular video are compliance tests. Are you going to comply with her wants and demands? That's what she wants to know. Now these compliance tests can be something as simple as, Will you hold my purse for me, please? To something as crazy as her wanting you to change your food order because she doesn't like the meal that you ordered. Now, sometimes compliance tests come well into the relationship where, as an example, she doesn't want you hanging around a particular friend of yours because she doesn't like his influence on you. Or maybe your behavior is something that makes her feel insecure, so she's trying to get you to change that so she feels better. You have to have your radar up at all times for tests because they come to you out of the clear blue sky. You never know when they're coming. And the reason for these surprise tests is because she wants an authentic response. If you were prepared for it, you would respond with whatever you think that she wanted to hear. And of course, that's not authentic. You would be responding in such a, in such a way to please her. Now, like I said, She's going to try and get you to change your ways on some level, meaning some are going to be more obvious than others. Trying to get you to change your food order is obvious, but it's a bit more subtle when she says something like, you know, Sally's guy started bringing her flowers every day and now they have nonstop sex. In reality, what she's saying is that she wants you to start bringing her flowers every day. And if you do, you just might get more sex. I mean, they could be pretty sneaky like that. But what women really want to know with these compliance tests is whether or not she has that power over you. I mean, women want to tame the beast. There are numerous reasons women find the bad boy so attractive, but one of those reasons is that she wants to tame the bad boy and make him all hers. If I could just get him to stop doing this or that, then our relationship would be perfect. I mean, it also makes her feel special that she was able to do it. Little does she realize that thing she wants her man to change is one of the things that makes him so attractive to her. If he changed it the way that she wants, she may lose all attraction for him. 
Now, I remember this uh, Tony Robbins thing, and you can find this video on YouTube, but I just don't remember what it was called. But in the video, this woman had fallen out of love with or lost her sexual attraction for her husband. When she married him, he was this tough guy, but her first husband used to beat her up. And she had told her current husband that he scares her when he gets angry, though he never laid a hand on her. But he loved her and he didn't want to scare her, so he toned it way down, so far down that he became Mr. Nice Guy. And Tony figured it out that because he wasn't that, that same tough guy any longer, he instead inadvertently became a bit of a doormat with her, thinking that this is what she wanted. And she did want him to be Mr. Nice Guy because she was scared he would beat her up, which of course is understandable. However, it also killed her attraction for him. She didn't realize it, but this tough guy persona was what attracted her to him to begin with. Now Tony got the guy to release the beast again, not to the point where he would get physical with anyone or anything, but just in his attitude. And suddenly she began to see the guy she fell in love with again. And now that's just one example of how a woman wanting her man to change for her completely backfired. And this sort of thing, it happens all the time. Now remember, she fell in love with the guy that you are. And while you may not be perfect, she felt attracted to you and, and eventually fell in love with you regardless. One of the most common pieces of advice that I find myself giving men is to be the guy who she fell in love with. So many men bend over backwards and jump through hoops of fire to make sure their girl is happy, changing so much about themselves, thinking that this is what she wants. Now, despite what she says, she really doesn't want that, not deep down. She wants you to be that rough around the edges, imperfect man. I mean, perfect is boring. She enjoys the excitement and drama of it all, whether she realizes it consciously or not. So should you change your ways for your girl? I would say that in most cases, absolutely not. Now you still wanna take into consideration what she's saying because sometimes it's important and you should make those changes. As an example, if she were to say, oh my God, you are so needy, it drives me crazy, then she may be onto something. You want to take a hard, honest look at your behavior and see if that was the man who she fell in love with or did you get needy over time? Is it a test or is your lack of change actually driving her away? Also, as a little side note, do not let m women manipulate you with a real man does this or a real man does that. Women know attacking your manhood is going to get a reaction out of you. Don't fall for it. If your girl ever says that to you, you know what to do instead of getting reactionary. Just grab her around the waist, pull her into you and just kiss her and then say something like, now that is what a real man does and maybe just give her a little smack on the butt and walk away. And trust me, she'll be weak in the knees. So if you found this video helpful or any of my videos helpful, I would really appreciate it if you gave it a thumbs up and for you to share it with any of your friends and family. I would also really appreciate it if you hit the subscribe button down below and tick that little bell symbol next to it so you get real time notifications of when I upload new videos. And in the description down below, not only will I have a link to both my contact page and my coaching page, but I also have numerous offers or links to attraction related programs that may interest you. But I also have a link to PayPal or my Bitcoin wallet address if you deem this video worthy of a donation. Oh, and you also have super thanks as an option. So that's it for this video. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Have a good one. Bye-bye.